Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a PE problem. We're going to be talking about some transportation, and in particular, we're going to be talking about traffic engineering. So here's what the question says. Uh, which of the following graphs most accurately portrays the relationship between space mean speed? So they kind of tell you it's along the y-axis and flow along the x-axis. Typically, they don't have to tell you that. They can just say space mean speed versus flow. Uh, but you know, in this case, they kind of specify y axis, x axis. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and dive into this one. If you're looking for some reading material, we need to be looking in a PE reference. This is going to be the green book. So, I'll tell you what that is here in a second. All right. So, it's nicknamed the green book because the color of it's green, but it's actually called the Policy on Geometric Design of Highways and Streets. And we're using the 2018 version, that's the latest and greatest. So, uh, we need to look on page, page uh, 2-28, right? So when you look on that page, you're going to basically find the answer, but we're going to, we're here to learn, right? So we're going to dive into each of these graphs and understand what the relationship means, why it's that way, that type of thing. So uh, A right there, it kind of, I'm just going to kind of blow it up here and kind of make it a little bit bigger. Uh, it looks a little bit like that, right? Uh, A actually represents space mean speed versus density so you have speed along the y-axis and then you have density along the x-axis okay uh and it actually so this right here is your sf i encourage you to check out the the manual and uh understand what these kind of what these things mean and then you have that jam density down here this is d sub j and uh basically think about this right your density whenever your density is low you can go a little bit faster, right? When nobody's on the road, nobody's on the highway, you're probably going to be going 85 miles an hour or something like that, right? You're going to be going a little bit faster, but the more density you have, the less speed you're comfortable with. You can kind of see how as density increases, uh, your speed actually decreases. You get slower, the more dense the traffic gets. So uh, that is that explains A. All right, so let me go ahead and move on to B. I'll blow that one up too. All right, so this kind of looks like B, and uh, this one is actually uh, our answer. And so we have flow down here, and we have speed over here. Have this uh, SF. You have this guy right here is going to be your MV, so your max flow. That's what that is, and then where that sort of apex happens, that's going to be what's called your critical speed. I'll write that out here. Critical speed. And uh, anything above that is going to be stable flow. That's kind of how they label it. Explain this here in a minute. And then you have unstable below it. Okay. Or think about it like forced, forced unstable flow, that type of thing. So there comes a certain point in time, there's a break point right there where you meet that critical speed, you meet that perfect point where you have the maximum flow and the maximum, uh, or not maximum speed, the per but the perfect speed uh, in order to maximize the flow. Okay, so the more vehicles you have on, on the road, uh, the your, your speed kind of tapers off. All right, and then for C, it kind of looks something like this. Boom. And uh, this one actually has density along the X and flow along the Y. So think about it this way, right? It's almost the same thing as what we just had earlier, the flow or the speed versus the flow. Okay, this one's flow versus density. So think about this. At a certain point, hopefully this will kind of reflect back to B and kind of make more sense. But think about it this way. The more density you have, there comes a break point where you just have you have less speed right you have less vehicles passing through and however you just have a bunch of vehicles packed in a particular space okay, so there's your density your flow is going to be by time okay so you have a bunch of vehicles packed in well they're all going to be traveling slower okay and that means your flow rate is also going to go slower but at a certain point you're getting more vehicles more vehicles more vehicles and eventually it's going to reach that break point, that perfect flow rate. Um, 
and then it kind of breaks over. Uh, yeah, so we have our, this VM is gonna be right here. So this is your maximum flow rate. And then you have your jam density here. So that's your density where nothing's moving. You're just sitting there. So remember A, uh, this was your jam density. So that was that. There wasn't uh, any sort of density relationship on B. You have this jam density here on C. And honestly, D, I made that one up. So we don't even need to use that one. So it looks like after some analysis, it looks like it's going to be B. Because remember, this one had a flow here and then uh, speed over here. And so it's just understanding the relationship. It's can you find it in the manual? You understand the relationship. If you can't find it in the manual, it's that type of thing. So hopefully this video helps. Hopefully it clears some things up. We'll catch you next time.